we're trying to cut this two day run. We got rain coming in. Um, got rain coming in um, tomorrow, which we're gonna win. Which we're gonna win this. So I'm not, I'm not concerned about it really at this point, I don't think. But I'm out of safety nets. I'm running myself out of safety nets. We have had a blow the hose on Brutus. I uh, got against the tree and whacked the hose up. I went the longest time, didn't break a hose on nothing on Brutus. And, and I blowed three in the past month. So, well, I ain't been so good with Brutus here lately. But it's been, I knew it was coming because I've been, it's been doing so good. Then, Roger was running the green skitter. Oh, to make it, oh, that is so beautiful. I wish I could have showed you all this. Man, that turned out good. One beautiful looking veneer tree. So anyways, we had a, uh, we had a injector line, number four injector line on that 6068 T. I believe it is. Or was it an L? What is uh that's an L. Yeah, 6068L, that makes sense. On that John Deere engine on that skitter. Um got a leak in it. And it got run and we kept running it. And where the jacker line goes into the crossover tube. In the crossover tube. Um it uh, got loose and got to vibrating and leaking and it screwed up. Hey, it screwed up the uh, joint. Try to tighten jack room, didn't work. We're logging close to Eddie Austin's garage. So I went to Eddie Austin's, bumped some tools from him. Still didn't, still couldn't get it to seal. Finally called uh, Deer and had one next day here. And so we had to get the other skitter. Robin's running the big grapple. Roger's running Irma. And we parked uh, number, uh, the green skitter. And uh, so with all that being done, they basically caught right up to me. They're nipping and my ankles dragging. I cannot get ahead of dragging wood at all. Or cutting timber at all. And we're just pouring the wood out to Stevie. Now what we're doing, we're back here on this, uh, on the tree farm, on the uh, Christmas tree farm. And uh, this is our two day run we're doing. And we're trying to knock it out and get the finish work done and clean this thing up and put it back together before the rain gets here, I think in the morning. Now we're not setting up the boom or nothing like that because we don't have the weather for it. So we're logging this two day stretch out and it looks like next Wednesday we're getting weather again. So we're gonna log another two day stretch out. And then hopefully after that, we'll get weather for the boom. And when we set the boom up, we'll bust a, a road to the center for Tiny and then we'll tiny the crap out of it. So when we get one weather pattern, we'll open the farm up, go like Hades, get all the wood pulled up and ready for the next weather pattern. This is what the plan is. So you'll have, uh, let's go to the map here. You'll have weather pattern one, then weather pattern two, and then bust through the middle. Tie my hopes up on here. Then bust through the middle with Tiny and bring a load to the bed. Run that wood to the bed. It's gonna last. Shows it's at three percent. I'm gonna take the stupid cover off. Y'all can see what's going on. All right. We got rain coming in. Oh yeah. One of them stiff doors, huh? We got rain coming in 
Saturday. Today's Friday. What is today's date? 423. Um, we just missed the 420. <laughs> but anyways, I uh, got a whole bunch of wood over here set up. We're trying to get this section cut out before the rain gets here. Robin and Roger are keeping me covered with wood. Like buried. Kind of covered. Let me get you all set up here. I don't know how to work his fancy little fandagle thing. We're going to try to do our best. Uh-oh. All right, there it is. That's dark. There's light. So, I'm going to go down and get the cutting up. They're going to keep on the skidding. Enjoy. Enjoy. Okay, so what's going on at this point is Big Daddy has showed up. He's got on a bulldozer, and he's starting to do some finishing. Meanwhile, I'm over there cutting on the left-hand side just out of the screen, up there past Stevie's pile. Well, yeah. Oh, no, that's a wind blowing. I was going to say, I thought I seen a tree fall. But I'm cutting over there uh, in that section to try to get that little, there's a little triangle-shaped piece over there I'm trying to get knocked out. And then... Uh, get Brutus out of the way and park Brutus early so that way I'm not laying any more ground down ahead of the rain so then after the rain we can start on some fresh new area so Roger and Robin is a pouring it on trying to get the last of the wood down in the valley down there on the right hand side which is up here in section one and uh, meanwhile me and Brutus is cutting over here in this little section and then uh, they'll get it knocked out and Big Daddy will get it cleaned up and uh, sorted out ahead of this rain that's coming in the morning first thing in the morning and then we'll be back at the mill working and stuff and then that'll wrap up this little cheat that's got us nibbled into this job without setting up the whole crew because we didn't know we did we knew we didn't have time to waste but we didn't want to bring the whole crew in and get it set up yet because ahead of the rain because you want to set up in fresh ground after the rain but uh, all right i'll shut up guys i know i didn't have a lot of footage here and everything but uh i want you all to uh i didn't get much angle angles and stuff like that and didn't get different things but i got some good footage coming on the rest of this job so if you don't care come back and check in i'll hopefully have some better stuff edited for the future thanks everybody for watching leave me likes and comments everybody have a great day uh, you need logger way gear go to loggerway.com and uh uh everybody have a good day and don't forget to smile the sacrifices we make People will never understand they what do. it's like. They
Thank <laughs> you.